Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a video on just how impressive the San Francisco Giants were to be able to capture the Manager of the Year award with Gabe Kapler, who obviously did a brilliant job of bringing in his coaching staff and Andrew Bailey at the pitching coach position, um, Kai Correa at the um, bench and infield coach position, and then when it comes to Pedro Guerrero, who's the assistant hitting coach, and the director of hitting, Dustin Lind, and then J.P. Martinez is the assistant pitching coaches. All those guys grouped into a whole did a very fantastic job with Gabe Kapler to help him get the manager of the year. If you look at their pitching, Gosman, who's a free agent now that they're going to try to keep, they, of course, did re-sign Di Scrafani. Going to be doing a video on that either tonight or tomorrow. But they were able to keep him. It seems like they're in on the biggest team in on getting close to signing Wood, I saw yesterday. They have more competition for Gosman, and they have interest in Alex Cobb, I also read. So this team is still working on, obviously, adding even more to a pitching rotation that, of course, saw Logan Webb. Um, emerge big time, and obviously now they still have Di Scafani and good people to build around there, bringing back in Alex Wood, and then there's also, of course, maybe they can be a team that goes out to get Steven Match or somebody like that that would add to the lefty fold as well, being a team interested in him, but Gabe Kapler's clearly got the most out of his veteran players. He helped uh, Evan Longoria turn back the clock. He helped Steven Duggar as a young player get really good, him and the hitting coaches. Kirk Casale did really good. Darren Ruff came back over from overseas, and they pushed all the right buttons with him coming back. Um, he was still an RBI and home run machine. Mike Dostromsky, not as good on the average. And then Brandon Crawford was fifth in the MVP, for God's sakes, earning him the re-signing contract in the middle of the season. So Gabe pushed all the right button, hired all the right staff in Correa, Bannister, um, Andrew Bailey, um, Craig, Craig uh, Albernaz, and of course he has himself, Dustin Lynn, J.D. Martinez, um, or J.P. Martinez, excuse me, J.D. Martinez is of course the D.H., who's the assistant pitching coach, so they have a great full and full coaching staff there that they were able to bring in, and that's what gets you to be the manager of the year, it's not just you, it's obviously not just a one-man job, it's a huge staff full together, and the rest of their staff as well that I did not mention, uh, that I'm not familiar with, that is the back more background staff, they did a fantastic job as well to help Kapler get the manager of the year, and his veterans stepped up big time for him, his best friend Evan Liguria, they were huge friends from both of them being on the Rays back in the day, and he had a good season, went healthy, Crawford was a beast, Duggar, um, Lamont Wade was clutch Wade. He was absolutely ridiculous when needed the most. And they kept pushing the right buttons, whether it was with a guy like Littell in the pen. They kept pushing the right buttons when it came to relievers. And they kept pushing the right buttons when it came to starters, him and Andrew Bailey and the rest of that staff. So hats off, kudos, claps up to Gabe Kapler for getting the manager of the year, which proved, one, either he learned from the mistakes he made here in Philadelphia, or two, John Middleton and Mac Lentak, who's still obviously part of the organization, but not the GM, thank God, were the big part of the problem, and Gabe Kapler was at least a very minute part of the problem, and was just overjudged after his first game that he made a bad decision on Aaron Nola, and I openly admit, obviously, that was a pitiful decision, but he's learned from that and seems to use his gut with his analytics more now than he ever has, and that's what got him a long way, and that's what got him and his staff a long way, mixing in the two, which is what you have to do. You have to blend them like a great smoothie, and then you have a great success rate, and the Giants did that to have 107 wins and to be better than the or than the Dodgers, the rival, for God's sakes, that everyone always has pegged because of the money they can spend and the ability to always be interested in practically everybody, always has them pegged as one of the best teams and the best team in the league, but nope. Gabe Kapler got his Giants to do that with the help of the coaching staff and the help of all of his great players coming together. And as he said on the Chris Rose rotation, letting them do their thing and basically being kind of like a Joe Madden type manager, letting the leaders like the Crawfords, the Posey of the world, who's now retired, obviously had a hell of a career. I did a video on that. If you want to go back and look at my channel, his re on Posey's retirement, but he was able to get the most out of them and let them be the great leaders and stepped in when needed and did all the right things when needed as well as Andrew Bailey and all their hitting staff pushing all the right buttons. So this has been a video on just how good of a season that Gabe Kapler was able to pull out of the Giants with the help of Andrew Bailey and his fellow coaches, especially guys like Dustin Lynn, the director of hitting. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great, safe, and pleasant offseason.